Johnny Manziel is still the biggest name in Brown's camp, but the Johnny football mania has at least temporarily taken a backseat to a mission to develop a foundation that does not revolve around the lightning rod that is the second-year quarterback. One thing that hasn't changed, the Browns are trying to jumpstart another new offensive system as John D. Filippo marks the sixth offensive coordinator in six years. How fast can they put it together? We're talking about a unit short on playmakers and already undermined by short-term injuries to newcomers Dwayne Bowe and Duke Johnson. But the progress of the offense will be as good of an indicator as any in Wayne Cleveland's chances of climbing out of the AFC North basement. The Browns might have not one, not two, but three summer breakout stars. Defensive tackle Danny Shelton, offensive lineman Cameron Irving, and rush linebacker Nate Orchard. Shelton, drafted 12th overall to plug a poor run defense, made the biggest splash play for the defense in the scrimmage last weekend when he dropped into coverage and showed some quickness and explosion to blow up a pass over the middle. Meanwhile, Irving looks to be a versatile addition to an already formidable offensive line, and Orchard will get more opportunities to make an impact as a rusher while Barkevius Mingo recovers from a knee scope. The most intriguing question mark in the Browns camp that doesn't involve Johnny football is Terrell Pryor trying to make the transition from washout quarterback to wide receiver. No doubt Pryor has the athletic skill and he seems to be very hungry to make this work. It helps that he has a big picture view of the offense that he learned under offensive coordinator John DeFilippo with the Raiders. But a key will be his ability to master the techniques and other nuances of the position at the highest level. It didn't hurt that Pryor spent part of the offseason being taken to school by Randy Moss in individual workouts. If it clicks, Browns GM Ray Farmer will have scored a coup with tremendous upside. Johnny Manziel hasn't made any headlines for off the field episodes. After last year's follies and an offseason stint in rehab for alcohol issues that may represent a major surprise. Manziel drew positive reviews from the scrimmage last weekend and it builds on the vibe that has been the narrative all summer that he's making progress without the pressure of needing to be the leading man. At least not yet. The Browns are encouraged that Manziel has been committed to learn the playbook and kept the drama in check. There's no competition and no quarterback controversy with Josh McCown slated to start, but stay tuned. Things change. If Manziel keeps improving and if the Browns fall out of the race early, the natural inclination will be to see how much better Manziel can be under real game conditions. 